पगोड़ा जॉइंट इज मेनली यूज टू कनेक्ट टू पाइप और टू ट्यूब्स सी वन साइड इज स्टेप ऑप्शन एंड अनदर साइड इज थ्रेडेड ऑप्शन सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस जॉइंट और कनेक्टर यू कैन कनेक्ट टू डिफरेंट साइज ऑफ पाइप और टू डिफरेंट साइज ऑफ ट्यूब लेट सी हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट सी दिस हेड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव डायमीटर एंड डेप्थ इज फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर ओके देन कॉर्नर देर इज अ चैम्फर सर्कुलर चैम्फर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड यू विल सी दिस डिस्टेंस पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर फ्रॉम आउटर एज ओके देन वी विल क्रिएट दिस बैक स्टेम थर्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग एंड वॉट इज द डायमीटर ऑफ दिस you will see here 20 okay now if you see clearly the internal di diameter of this one is 20 we will consider 20 mm for this then we will create okay let's see it all unspecified fill corner fillets are 0.5 unless otherwise specified apply face fillet at the end of joints okay at the end of joint you will see this end of joint we will apply face fillet now let me select right plane sketch activate here polygon and here apply parameter six number of sides inscribed circle start with origin point right click select and exit select any edge apply and diameter 25 now i want to add material so go to feature and apply extruded boss base feature now you can even uh, flow any direction but i am going to keep flow in mid plane because i want to use this mid plane to mirror some feature length 15 mm keep mid plane say okay select this face sketch circle make sure this is okay now smart dimension hold shift key and select this one point five millimeter point five millimeter okay now go to feature i want to remove this material so apply extruded cut but here keep end condition through all but here apply flip side to cut i want to cut this side angle given 45 degree now see say okay look now let's use right plane and mirror this feature apply mirror right plane already selected feature to mirror select this you will see the preview say yes let's check back side sketch apply here diameter 20 extruded boss base and this length given 35 mm make sure you selected blind feature direction okay let me select this 6.5 diameter 17 we need to cut this step 1 2 3 4 there are four number of steps then we will make this threaded hole inside before going to make we will make one hole up to 12 depth 20 dia and there is a chamfer also 1.5 then we will apply m20 to 1.5 threaded hole all round fillet this one 1.56 number of this okay now select this face sketch twenty apply extruded cut depth on keep blind and depth only twelve millimeter say okay and select okay before going to select this end i'm going to apply front plane sketch line draw one mid 
midline for reference apply here line connect right click select and exit smart dimension 6.5 now select this end point this cursor if you move outside it will show you diameter 17 millimeter look it seems fully defined this sketch now go to feature i want to remove material in circular direction so you have to apply revolve cut feature now see by default system took this center line as the axis of revolution apply angle 360 degree say okay see linear pattern now for direction i am going to choose right plane distance 6.5 four number of patterns you will see preview feature already selected say yes look select back surface sketch apply a hole here 13 point 75 now see here hole 13.75 this is throughout hole apply extruded cut feature and keep end condition through all see chamfer now for chamfer i am going to apply angle distance here distance 1.5 angle 45 and let me select this inside edge okay now here i want to apply thread drop down hole wizard choose thread okay now location now this is you have to choose age of cylinder so i am going to select this age up to selection up to select this inside fit now here select this okay come down metric tap we need to cut tap uh, remove material so we have to choose metric tap cut thread m20 into 1.5 okay come up offset keep 2 mm reverse see due to this age treatment we will apply 2 mm so that we will get a smooth edge similarly end condition offset keep 1 mm 1 mm make it inside but you have to apply here trim with start face just see what will happen if i choose trim with start face see this is trim outside trim with end face see here say okay and see this is a smooth thread created okay let me apply fillet choose okay let's choose here uh, face fillet 3 point one face activate face 2 activate face 3 you will see here keep tangent propagation now see this end is full round fillet again apply fillet choose constant type fillet symmetric okay 0.5 1.5 first select this edge again choose this as select this first option now it will select all six edges fillet now the common fillet 0.5 select this edge and in this case we have to choose external select this okay here we done say okay now let me apply go to brass 
material given brass so simply brass brushed finish double click and material is going to apply see don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects inside works thanks for watching